Hello, NYWCites. I am the administrator of the NYWC message board, Robert Lottie. Trust no one. 2017 was a very good show from the Sportatorium in Deer Park, New York. Here are the results. Uh, the show kicked off with uh, a debut as Johnny Clash made his NYWC debut, taking on Angelo Andros, Andrews, sorry, uh, was accompanied ring by Crusher Dugan, and Angelo Andros uh, defeated Johnny Clash via a chokeout. Uh, second match of the night, we saw High Society's King Mega and Flawless Blake Morris defeat Milk Chocolate, Randy Summers, and Brandon Watts. Next up, we saw Alvin Alvarez defeat Mouse. And, uh, let me see, yeah, Alvin defeated Mouse. Then we had an eight-man tag team matchup, which saw Johnny Radke and three other members of the NYWC Academy, whose names I did not get, and they had two other Academy members in their corner. They went on to defeat DJ Hyde, the Lariat, Mr. A, Tyler Murphy, and Joey Conway. After the match uh, had ended, Talon comes out, attacks Radkey and the rest of the Academy. Talon takes the microphone saying it's like the second or third time now he didn't have a match on the show, and he said he's going to keep doing it until he gets what he wants. Next matchup, we saw yours truly, Alex Reynolds, accompanied by, the, by King Mega, defeat uh, Robbie E in a very good matchup. Then, they went to intermission at that point, and the show resumed with a six-man tag as a team matchup. The Beer Belly Bandits, Bo Pritchard, JT Case, and Jen Romero take on Spider, Ultimo Maya, and Kasim Rana. Now, throughout this match, uh, Rana, he kept tagging himself in and to the point where Spider and Maya were eventually getting disgusted with it, and they... Rada was in the ring, and he wanted to tag out, and both Maya and Spider jumped down from the apron. And uh, Spider... I'm sorry, Rada got pinned. I forgot how. Uh, Bo Pritchard takes the microphone, and he tells Rada, Hold still, punk! And... Um, uh, Bo calls Maya and Spider into the ring, had a little peace offering, and Romero go steps outside the ring, goes under the apron, has a, a plastic bag, and out of that bag were two huge cans of Coronas, and I forgot what kind of beer the, the, the bandits brought to the ring, and they decided to have a little celebrate, sell a bit of a happy hour drink. <laughs> Definitely a great matchup. Up next, out comes Maxwell Jacob Friedman, and he wanted a shot at the Fusion Championship. I mean, he's interrupted by pro wrestling maniac Joe Gacy. He says, you know what, I'm scheduled to challenge Big O for the Fusion title tonight. But unfortunately, Stockade has some family business to take care of. So I have rescinded that match. So you want your Fusion title match so badly, you're going to get it right now. And out comes the Big O. And he basically d defeats Maxwell Jacob Freeman to retain the Fusion Championship. O takes the microphone. And he asks the Greek god Papa Don to come out because Papa Don had, had gotten injured. And O said he knows what it's like to come back from an injury. And uh, Papa Don, I think I forgot what he said, but Papa Don then drops one of his one of his crutches, falls down. Papa Don took the other his other crutch and whacked O with it. And I forgot what Papa Don ended up saying, but he's looking to get another ch chance at the Fusion Championship. Up next, we, we saw uh, Born and Bred, Anthony Lacerra and Jesse Vane set to defend the Tag Team Championship against the Benson Bros, CJ and Rad Brad, Private Party, Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy, and Jay Red and Git. Unfortunately, the, the four teams took the match out of the ring, and the referee called for the bell, declaring it a no contest, and Born and Bred is still the uh, Tag Team Champions. And I don't know if this is going to lead to something at the next show. or I mean, it's kind of silly the way it ended or the no contest. Up next, uh, Brittany Savage. Um, she came out to referee the next match, which saw Willow Nightingale defeat Karen Q to retain the Starlet Championship. Uh, Karen Q really can go in the ring, and hopefully she gets brought back in the future. And then it was time for the main event as the Devil's Outlaw Stockade 
and the pro wrestling maniac Joe Gacy substituting for Father Matt Tremont, who was unable to appear, as they took on the extricated, formerly the Hounds of Hatred, the extricated, uh, representing the group was Bam Selvin and Aiden Bale, accompanied the ring by Victoria Von Black and Mouse. And this was actually for the Tier 1 Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Um, very good matchup, which ended with... Uh, well, actually, before I get to the ending, um, Victoria Von Black tried to get involved, and she eventually gave Stocky to Hurricane Rana. Then... Eventually, yeah, Victoria interfered, with a, hit Saki with a low blow, causing uh, Bam and Aiden to be disqualified. And then Victoria and Mouse, they go, they go out the side door, and I don't know what they had planned, but Victoria comes back in, in the side door screaming, and Masada, he used uh, barbecue skewers, or is it skewers, and jammed them into Mouse's head, and he bled so badly. Uh, Stockade eventually takes the microphone. He said that next month, Father Matt Tremont will be sh will show up. Yeah, so I don't know where they're going with that one. But definitely a very good event for NYWC. Well, for personal notes time, uh, welcome back Fred, who I had not seen in a few months. Uh, great seeing Josh, and a huge thank you to his friend John for driving me to and from the show. Uh, nice seeing Vinny there, James McGrady, uh, Shane, Steve, I'll be right back folks. Now, if this does not prove that I'm a loyal NYWC fan, I don't know who did this, but <laughs> this was the ticket from my ticket from the from the show, and they wrote my last name on. I don't know whose handwriting this is, but uh, I'd like to know whose handwriting this is. But if this doesn't prove how how much I support NYWC, <laughs> I don't know what does. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, well, basically, yeah, that, um, yeah, we do have some memorable quotes. <laughs> Lottie, put your foot up! Anytime now, Lottie! Stockade when he and Bam Sullivan were going at it in front of me. Lottie, how do I work this thing? Stockade, when he tried turning on my, try to figure out how to use my megaphone. Hey, Bam! Stockade through my megaphone in Bam's ear. <clears throat> now, NYWC will be, um, they're returning to Tropics on the Mile in Freeport, Long Island on Wednesday, August 16th. And uh, they'll return to the Sportatorium on Thursday, August 24th with Hotter Than Hell. I'd like to see that night the Big O take on Papa Don for the Fusion Championship. Uh, maybe an, another four-way match with the Tag Team Championship decided with the four teams that that took place that trust no one. I'd like to see maybe a six-man tag team match with a Stockade, Matt Tremont, Father Matt Tremont, Joe and Joe Gacy against all. Well, not all three, but the extricated, Bam Sullivan, Aiden Bale, and Mouse. Mm. Uh, maybe Spider and Ultimo Maya team up against Kasim Rana, and I don't know who he'd get as a partner. Another thing, NYWC, why is it almost every show there's always trouble with the microphones? Why does this happen every time, no matter who's ring announcing? Whether it's Andy, Larry Legend, or even when Jason Linick was around ring announce? Almost every show there's micro trouble with the microphones. Damn. Hmm. 
definitely, you know, I'm hoping for a great hotter than hell on, yeah, Thursday, August 24th. Um, dur- seeing that's during my vacation time, I don't know if you'll do another after party at, uh, is it BK or CK Grosso's in Bayshore? I'd definitely like to go check that place out after a show and maybe, uh, Especially if, if they were to ever have karaoke there some night. <laughs> but um, we'll see how, how things go along. But definitely NYWC rules.